Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the modeling of the power system for contingency analysis. So let us begin. Contingency analysis, it is a part of the security assessment, okay, or the security analysis, okay. What we get from the contingency analysis is the list of it gives the prediction related to the possible outages okay in future which outage is possible that list it gives in the form of the prediction okay now it is solved or this contingency analysis is done with the help of some computer algorithm okay now for that computer algorithm we need to uh, model the power system okay so in order to carry out this contingency analysis okay so let us discuss how we can model that power system for the contingency analysis see power system uh, in case of the contingency analysis basically the most of the interest in contingency analysis is on the line flows and the bus voltages okay uh, definitely we have discussed in power system security in case of the monitoring we monitor so many things uh, related to the power system with the help of the telemetry system but here for the sake of the contingency analysis the two parameters are of most interest one is the line flow another is the bus voltage okay see these are the soft limits okay and again here while carrying out the contingency analysis the exact accuracy or most accurate results are not expected okay even if we are getting the limited accuracy that will be also okay okay that solution is also justifiable okay see why because which type of the fault is going to come in future uh, if related to that if we get some rough idea then even uh, with that rough idea we can prepare some action plan okay uh, here the exact fault or the exact contingency or the exact severity of that contingency is not expected here okay so here as the limited accuracy models are also justifiable so for case of modeling of the power system the most fundamental approximate load flow model is newton raphson method that we already studied in the load flow study so okay so that newton raphson method is basically it is given with the help of this equation okay so now here see i want to monitor these two things what is those the line flow and the bus voltage okay and we will get these two quantities with the help of the load flow study okay so that is why let us take the help of that model of the power system which we used in the load flow study and we know that there are various methods are available to solve the load flow problem out of that we have studied a Vossidal method newton raphson method then again we have studied the uh, decoupled method fast decoupled method okay so the most fundamental approximate load flow model is the newton raphson method okay again as i said limited accuracy models are also justifiable in that case so uh, from newton raphson method by applying some approximation that to the justifiable approximation we get the decoupled load flow method okay so instead of going for newton raphson method we can either go with the decoupled load flow method also okay in its incremental version uh, we can write that decoupled load flow method as uh, that in this formula okay that is the change in the real power is equal to that jacobian matrix we have modified here okay uh, again this is the change in the uh, angle okay so with respect to the change in angle we will get here the uh, change in the real power okay again in this model particularly in this decoupled load flow model the voltages are assumed to remain constant after the contingencies okay so with that here instead of writing the change in the voltage we are getting the relationship with the change in real power for change in angle okay however this model will not hold true for the weak system 
okay we have to model the power system in another way if we are operating or if we are doing the contingency analysis for the weaker area of the power system okay again now the utility has to decide at what instant they need to monitor this thing okay definitely when there is a contingency will be there after the contingency two instances we will have the first instant what we can call is a post contingency steady condition that steady condition is immediately after the outage okay let's say the fault has occurred and just after the occurrence of the fault the steady condition whatever we will get whether the utility wants to monitor that quantities at that condition okay from that what we will get we will get the system inertial response okay or if the utility want to monitor this thing after the automatic control because we have uh, in our power system some automatic controls as well okay so if suppose if the utility want to monitor the post contingency after the automatic control that also can be done with or that also can be decided while modeling the power system okay depending upon this decision different participation factors are used to allocate the megawatt generation among the remaining units okay again the reactive problem tend to be more non-linear and voltages are also influenced by the active power flow in that case okay again from the decoupled load flow method we can again go for the fast decoupled load flow method because what is the problem with the decoupled load flow method is that we need to invert this jacobian in all the iteration so in case of the fast decoupled method what we did with the help of that matrix inversion lemma we have made that jacobian matrix as the constant okay so we can again utilize this fast decoupled load flow model also for carrying out this contingency analysis okay so this is how depending upon the requirement of the utility which parameter they want to monitor and after for what condition they need to have the monitoring so accordingly we can model the power system okay thank you very much